Yo, what up, what up, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? Salute to the Elite fam. What's good? How y'all doing today? Good Monday to you. How goes it? How goes it? What's been going on? What's been going on? Yo, Charles Macro, we back once again, man. Hope everybody's well. Peace and blessings. Prayers up. Hope you and your loved ones are safe, uh, healthy, happy. You know, if you're watching this later after the stream, thank you for coming back through, checking this one out, man. Really appreciate it. Always appreciate the love support. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, do all that good YouTube stuff. Y'all know how the algorithm does, man. But I appreciate you for being here, for stopping through. All right. What's up, GOAT? What's going on? What's going on, Zuki? What's good? What's good? What's up, AD? What's up? What's up? Uh, how do you make money easily? Grind. Uh, I don't know if there's an easy way, per se. But, um, yeah, if you get your grind on, you got to find you some some uh, farms, a couple farms. It depends on what level you on, man. But, well, the easiest way is just spending money. I mean, this game will let you pay and get a lot of money. But as far as actually in-game fishing, man, you got to gotta find you some good farms and make you some money that way. What's up, Frog? What's going on? What's going on? Hey, I've been doing well. I can't complain. I can't complain. Uh, say my videos have been your absolute favorite. You've been trying to catch the live for a long while. I hope I'm doing well. Yes, I am doing well. Glad you enjoyed the videos, man. Hope that they help. And I hope everything is good with you and your family as well, your loved ones, man. Glad that you made it through. Try to jump on a little earlier than usual. Normally where I'm at, it's a little later in the evening when I get on. But um, I got done with some of my work earlier. Well, I still got a couple things I'm going to do after we get done. But good place uh, with working and things of that nature. So I said, let me jump on the stream real quick and uh, see if any of my folk can come through. And if not, you know, hopefully they can watch it later on, on the later on. Zuki, what's good? What's good? What's up, Amir? What's going on? What's going on? Go up, say you got a PC for Christmas. Um, you're very low level. Uh, once you get to the other levels, you can join. Nice. Yes, man. Absolutely. You're going to have to come on through. We'll jump on, man. Come on in the friend room. Let me do that now while, while I'm thinking about it. Let me go in and buy a license. I'm here in October. And uh, I am finishing this mission. That's what I want to show you. This trophy catfish leeches bait. We were doing these in the stream. I did Sander Bagasy, uh, Tiber. I either did it or I had already done it. We finishing up with October. Oh, let me get my audio on. Finishing up with October. So I actually caught this catfish. I figured out where it was at. I went and kind of scouted the lake. I just made sure I didn't use leeches because you got to use leeches on this one. That's what we about to do. But congrats on the PC, man. Hope you got you a nice rig. Good rig that you can game. Definitely play some Fishing Planet, but whatever else you play, man. What else do you play? Let me know as well what else you play that you're going to use that rig for, man. But, yeah, congrats, congrats. Um, So I did some, some fishing at this lake. Down here, I caught some catfish. This little house reminds me of when you're at San Juá, San Joe. And it's a house like this where you can catch the sturgeon. I was fishing right here for some catfish, and I caught sturgeon. They're only around 10 pounds or so. I can show you all that if need be. What I found out, actually just watching some folks, you got to fish off the dock. So we going off the dock. Let me go on and spawn in. And this is where we're going to fish from. I'm really probably just going to catch this fish. Once I catch this fish, unless it's just super quick, I'll probably, uh, you know, wrap it up and we'll get back on later or another day. Um, if it's super quick, I might fish a little bit more here or maybe go somewhere else. Uh, let me jump into this friends only room. <laughs> Sand wise, the waterway uh, you live on in real life. What? Nice, nice, man. How is how is the fishing there? Yeah, you know what? I thought that some of the names or some of the places in the games were like changed a little bit, just so they like didn't infringe or something. But I did some recent, you know, research. Like I looked back, maybe I looked a while ago, like a year or two ago. Um, when I looked recently, I saw that yeah, all of these lakes. Uh, some, if not all of them, are real lakes, so they're based on real lakes, the names and everything. And yeah, I, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Um, if you're trying to do this trophy catfish, fish right off the dock if you're here at October. 
and I'll show you on my uh show you my markers. Um these two right here were actually I caught them with large cut bait. This was a 32 pounder. We only need a 22 pounder. I caught a 32 pounder there. And then this one was a beluga. You actually can catch beluga right here. I caught a 90 pounder with meat chunks, but you can't keep it. You will get fined if you keep it. So, you know, you got to release it, but you get the XP. I can't remember if the XP was that good. I know I took a picture, but I can't really remember if the XP was that good or not. But hey, it was something. It'll probably be good if you're like just getting here or, or hadn't been here that long. But we're using leeches for this one. We'll see how long it takes us to catch a trophy. I think the 22 is a trophy. And I caught, what was that, a uni when I pulled up the map? I ain't paying It was big, though. <laughs> that jammy was, like I said, like 30-something pounds. It was way over more than I thought it would be. Put it like that. Global, what's up, GTV? Y'all check out GTV. What's going on, man? How goes it today? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Say, fishing there in real life can be hard. Uh, but it's a huge waterway with miles and miles to fish. So it's all about being able to locate them. Nice, nice. Hey, what's up, hood? I'm so hood. If you're not from here, you can't walk it out. And you're not good if you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what's good? I can do a million songs about like that, like that, man. What's good? What's hood with you? What's hood with you? What's going on? Hey, uh, Frog, man, I uh-oh, we're getting a hit already. Yeah, I would love to come up uh, and fish at San Juan in real life one day. I've been to Cali, but it was Northern California, and I don't know if San Juan is in Southern Cal or Northern Cal. I'm going to imagine it's in Southern Cal, and that's a Southern California uh, body uh, where it's warmer. But who knows? It might have been in Northern Cal. I'm not sure. Is that no North Cal? Okay, it is Northern Cal. Okay, okay, nice. Yeah, I spent a whole summer in uh, Northern Cal. Um back in it was like 2011 2010 2011 something like that um i was in a this 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 college was trying to recruit me to come to berkeley well berkeley i don't say it now i was i was just going to talk generically berkeley was recruiting me to come there for a uh a, a, a upper grad program after i got done my undergrad and so i stayed there. they paid for me to come and stay the whole summer i was in berkeley i was in oakley i was in sac I was in San Francisco. I really only visited those those other two, the Oakley and, and Sac. I just kind of drove through, seen a few things. And I think we visited somewhere else. Uh uh, we visited this big uh aquarium in uh one of the one of the beach areas. I forgot what it's called. It's a whole different city. Uh uh, I can't think of it right now. It's another known city that's like an hour or two south of uh Northern Cal or the Bay. But anyway, yeah, man, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. So you from the Oakland area. Uh, that's awesome, though. Berkeley is a great school. Yeah, man, I really enjoyed it. Oh, caught a Xander. This is my first one, so I'm going to go on and take a picture of that. I didn't even know you could catch Xander right here. Nice. Got us a Xander spot. Let me let me mark that, too. Hey, man, I really enjoyed it. I thought that I was going to go to Berkeley, try to get my doctorate, but I was like, eh. I had to get back to, to work and um, – that's a long story. We'll talk about that another day. But I definitely enjoyed it, man. It's real laid back, real cool, man. Real, real casual. So um, even though they get it in now, it, it's real, real chill at Berserkly. <laughs> they call it Berserkly. I got a lot of footage. Back then, phones and stuff weren't as popping in 2012. You know, the smartphones, the cameras weren't as great. I had a, a phone with a camera on it, but it, you know, it was like less than probably 460 at that time, 480. So, yeah, big, big difference. I'm going to try to fish some of these Xanders since I know they're here. Let me, uh, somebody said, I had a comment on, on one of my other videos that you can catch uh, not just Xander, walleye with, was it a narrow spoon? No, I know you can catch with a narrow spoon. It was a different lake, but they were saying you could use the same lure that you caught walleye with. That's what it was. I got to look back at the comment because I forgot what lake they were at, but they were at a different lake uh, telling me another lure that I could use. That's what it is. That's what it is. The Monterey Bay Aquarium. That I think that may be it, man. I think that may be it. I got to look it up but because uh, it's on a whole boardwalk. It was a boardwalk there, and you went to the boardwalk, but then they had aquarium. Was it Santa Fe? Hold on, is that Santa Fe? 
I think it's Santa Fe. Hey, what's up, Eric? What's good? What's good? Hey, what's good, bro? Yeah, that, that's it, E. You tell me about White Moose. Thank you, man. Thank you for jogging my memory. You know I be trying to think of a whole lot at once. My mind is powerful, but, you know, it got a few miles on it now. It's like a computer. When it's trying to search through all that data, you got a big hard drive with a ton of stuff saved and that RAM trying to find it. When you first get the computer, it'll be going like this. But, you know, it's starting to slow down a bit. But it's still fast, though. It's still fast. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. But yes, yes, white moose. So you were saying you can actually catch what trout as well, or was it a uh, salmon using the narrow spoon the same way you would use the um, the red tiger spoon? This medium spoon right here, the red tiger, you can use this narrow spoon to catch similar fish uh, fishing at white moose. Shout out to Eric for that, man. Appreciate that, EB. Hey, what's up, Caden? What's going on? What's going on? How goes it? How goes it? Man, hopefully I won't snag no beluga or no uh, beluga or these catfish because this is only an 11-pound line right here. This will be ugly. This will be ugly. Yeah, how you doing, Kaden? What's going on? What's going on? Uh, Let's see. You ha actually haven't been to it. Okay, okay. Yeah, E, man, appreciate that. You say trout splake all over. Hey, what's up, Ned? Hey, my day's been good so far. My day's been good so far. I actually did some uh, IRL fishing early with my nephew, and um, man, he was killing it. I got a spin right, and this is the this is. I'll be honest with y'all. Really, really getting into a good spin, man. My line was going crazy, right? I had I had uh put too much line on my spin, so I had to get some of the line off. But I spent half my time trying to get my line right. My nephew just catching bass. We went to this lake, and there's some bass in the lake. It's a little, like, small local pond. But they got bass, and then, of course, you know, they're going to have, like, crappy and, and other panfish. And so, yeah, 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 I'm so busy trying to get my line corrected. He just reeling them in. He caught about a two-pound. It was big, too. I posted the picture in the Discord. But I caught – I did finally catch me one once I got rolling. Uh, I caught me a little bass. He's a little booger. And the lake is catching release, so I sent it on back. But um, try to get out, you know, we're going to try to get out pretty regular, at least once or twice a week, because the lake real close. Even if it's just getting up early before work, you know, days I work later or, you know, I'm working from home and just do like an hour or something, just see what we can catch, man. And, you know, I like to chop it up with my nephew, man. He growing, he getting big. What's up, Wolf? What's going on? What's going on? Eric said you caught a lot of unique splake. He caught a lot of unique splake using uh, the narrow spoon at White Moose. So remember that, guys. You can use the medium spoon, that red tiger medium spoon, and, yes, you will catch uh, some really, really good uh, good amount of trout. You'll catch unis in the whole nine, but you can use narrow spoon as well. Uh, I think you said, what, the dark one, right? Or the glow in the dark? Either the dark one or the glow in the dark one. Let me know, Eric, my man Eric here in the uh, chat. He's the one that let me know about using that as an alt, uh, alt lure. So appreciate that, man. That's good looking out. Yeah, what's up, Wolf? I am at October. I am at October. I am still trying to catch these this trophy catfish, the 22-pounder. And I found a spot, and I've actually caught a over 22-pounder, but it was using a different lure. I was trying to wait till we got back on stream. Uh-oh, we got two of them. We got two of them. Let's see what we have here. And yeah, I don't think that's it. When I caught that uni or whatever it was, it it was had me it had me redlining. So all right. This is a whales, but it ain't big enough. Then I actually caught like trophies back to back. I think it was a big trophy, but I caught like multiples back to back. So it shouldn't take too long, but you know how these fish do on uh fishing planet. It it might take us the whole stream. But we're going to knock it out. That's actually cool. They give us more time to chat. They give us more time to chat. Noah. Hey, my day has been good. My day has been good. Like I said, we getting some work done. Got some early fishing in. Uh, some IRL. Testing out my spin. And uh, yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. How's your day been? How's your day been? Half ounce green glow in the dark. There you go. 
The half ounce green glow in the dark uh, narrow spoon is good money. It's good business at White Moose, as well as your uh, red tiger uh, uh, medium spoon. Excuse me. The medium spoon is the one we know stock, but you can use that half ounce green glow in the dark. Shout out to Eric, man. Appreciate that. Uh, Wolf said, you know a spot? Okay. Well, look, Wolf, this one is straight, but if you got another spot, let me know. Let me know. I had one other spot I was fishing, but all the ones I caught were small. They were only like 10 pounds. I caught a 30-something pounder right here, and I need a 22, so we're just going to see how long it takes. I'm going to try this one for a moment, and then if I don't catch it, man, we can um, we can move. And we'll try this other spot. Right, Zuki, Zuki can't be snipping my line, man. Zuki come through snipping. What's good, Zuki? What's going on with you, man? How goes it? How goes it? Oh, let me get this other line out here real quick. Okay. All right, Frog. But, yeah, man, hey, we got to talk some more, man, like I said about Cali. I think... I'm a, I ain't gonna go into that ah, like I want to, man. We'll talk more. But I really enjoyed uh, my time out in Cali, man. It was real cool. I did a lot while I was out there. Um, Cause I was out there for like two months. I was out there for two months. Uh, everything paid for, food, the whole nine. So um, I explored. I would go out by myself sometimes. I don't recommend going out and exploring Cali by yourself. But uh, I had people in a cohort with me, so we would go out. I went to I went to uh, San Francisco late night and they had like a uh, like a slam you know like a, a poetry slam type of thing. The people's freestyling and dancing. It was crazy, man. I took video of the whole nine. I, I jumped out there myself, but uh, I went to all kind of stuff, man. All kind of stuff. It was real cool. Okay, yeah, the Discord should have popped up. Um, if it didn't, oh, it didn't. You know what though? It will. My bot will post it in a minute, man. So just stick with me for a minute. If it doesn't pop up, I'll open it up and I'll post a link to the Discord. Yeah, I'll post a link to the Discord momentarily. Yeah, man, this thing ain't pulling in no Xanders, though. I'm mad at that. Uh, Zuki say, making pizzas for the fam. Still thinking about the fish you got Sunday. Hey. Hey, Zuki, could you, did you take it home with you? Could you keep it? Let's see what we got here, guys. It's probably another whales. Yeah, were you able to keep that fish? Or did you have to release it? Basically, did you eat it, man? Did you eat it? All right, we got another Xander. Xander are sitting right here. Oh, okay, let me check out Wolf. Uh, Wolf sent me a marker. Shout out to Wolf Boy Plays. Let's see. Let me set that mark. Let's see where it is. It might be down in. Nope. It's right here. That's a different area. Uh, that ain't the one I'm looking for. Let's see. Those are my carp. Carp, 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 carp. Okay. Uh, where is that? Ah, it's up here. Okay. Ooh, a yoni, hundred pounder. Ooh, wolf. Wolf got a yoni up here. You know what? I was fishing, but I was in the wrong spot. I was over this way. Yeah, I was over this way. I wasn't up far enough. I'm going to go up there where wolf at. If this one ain't the one, we finna move, guys. We finna move. This could be a trophy. I doubt it, but this could be a trophy. Let's see. He got a little weight on him. Nah, not heavy enough. Oh, man, that ain't nothing. Uh, Zuki said, making pieces for the fam. Still thinking about the fish. Hey, uh, she was a keeper, but you throw her back. Okay, no bucket to keep her. Dang. Uh, let's see, you hopped into the YouTube chat to grab the link. All good. Okay, all right, nice, nice, nice. All right, glad you got it. Let me see, is it a spine point? Where Wolf is at. It should be. Okay, yeah, yeah. He right by the spine point. I'm going to come up there, Wolf. 
Let's go ahead and move to this other spot that Wolf Boy is posted up at. Uh, am I there? Am I there? Might be on the other side. Nah, that's it. I don't see the marker, though. Oh, he over here in the deep area. This over here by the... Look at the train going by. The trestle. All right, let's go. Over here, you can catch some beluga. Beluga all through this area. Beluga. All right, let's see if we can catch this thing. I might go up on my hook on one of these. I got a six. I figure that should be plenty. I caught the uh, trophy on a six. But that thing, a hundred pounder, he might can hold a bigger hook. So how about I do this? I'm going to upgrade my hook just a bit. I'm going to put an eight on this one. And I think I got a four on that one, my X-Series barbless. I'm going to put a six on this one. Two sixes and an eight. Oh, you caught on a 10. Hey, I'm going up to the 10 then. Say no more. Say no more. I got some bobless. And if you have bait coins, guys, if you early, you starting out, use your bait coin on like barbless stuff. Barbless hooks. Barbless, uh, a few barbless lure that there are. You know, I used to recommend, okay, the bite would be much slower than, with the 10 knot. Okay, that's cool. I used to recommend uh, advanced licenses. And depending on the lake, I still do. Um, but, yeah, the barbless stuff, will, it will really serve you well. And I think you get bonuses. You either get bonus XP or XP and cash. Uh, Eric said you about to jump off and check out the Cali vid to see what you need to do for a setup. Okay, all right. Uh, you'll hop back on when you're done. All right, cool, man. We'll be here. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, if, if anything isn't in there or missing, man, just hit me up. If not myself, I know somebody else in here as well, man. They got the info. They got the scoop. So, yeah, uh, just come back through, man, whenever you get a chance. Let's see if anything down here I can catch on my spin. On my casting rod, I'm gonna start with this worm and then I'm gonna switch it up because I'm 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 not really even targeting anything specifically. I'm just uh, casting to see what might bite. Wolf, is there anything you could spin for right here that you know of? Okay. Uh, let's see. There it is. All right, I got you, man. I got you. Yeah, and you know what? I would have to look. I couldn't even tell you what level October is. If it's under 20 or under 30. I'm not sure. They start to get a blur because I know Gent and um, what's that other one? They earlier, but when you start getting the Sander Bagasy and oh, look, look at that. Nice beluga wolf. Nice beluga. Okay, you still can catch Pikes and Xanders. I might throw my lighter set up then. Uh, I want to see if this Irish Cray does anything. Just throwing it out just to see. I throw my crankbait or um, a, a spoon or something. Let's go. Uh, let's see. It's 46. Uh, you thought it was one of those 70 spots. Oh, you 65? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You good. You good. Yeah, nah, this ain't one of the top ones. 
Uh, Noah say, hey, Charles, what's the best money in XP uh, fish to fish at Kanik? I mean, any of those salmon, there's a couple spots. There's this one spot I think you spawn in by that house or that cabin and turn left, and you walk all the way up to the top, like all the way up to the top. We'll say Pike, Xanders, and Ide are here, okay? You walk all the way up to the top. And there's this, uh, it, you come to the edge of the lake. It looks like it curves around, but it's this one little, like, body that gets a little big. Man, you'll catch all kind of uh, salmon there. And it's just so so many different types. I hadn't been to Kanika in a minute, but it's one of the ones I really enjoy when I went there. Hey, y'all got any other of the, the good fish at Kanik? Best money and the best XP? Yeah, I like Kanik. It reminds me of trout fishing at um Rocky Lake, Falcon Lake, and White Moose. It's like the big brother. The White Moose, the big brother, the Falcon. Falcon, the big brother, the Rocky. Kanik is the big brother, the White Moose. Uh, let's see. Frog said the Alaska spot is wild. Fish on constantly. Yeah. Especially if you take you some feeders. Like, take you some feeders. You can spin fish, too. Spin fish with like a single spoon. Get you like one of them green. I think it's a green single spoon. Oh man, you'll do good business. But get you some feeders. Just throw them joints out. And I forgot what the salmon eat. It, it's probably just like minnows, uh, like large minnows. But I, I gotta go check. But I think that's it. Again, it's been a minute. But yeah, that single spoon. There's actually a mission where you gotta catch with a spoon. And um, that single spoon, that green single spoon, is the one you need to use. Uh, let's see, you lagging terribly. Okay, that's cool, Wolf. Hey, Frog completed the October Vagrant. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to be here for a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch something at this spot. I'm going to wait. And then um, if I don't catch anything, I'll go back to the other spot, kind of bounce back and forth in between them. You know what? Let me check my uh my bite chart. I ain't even looked at that in a minute. And we getting out the peak a little bit. Hey Wolf, have you ever done it on the night peak or should I stay early morning? Cause I think I had best luck early morning. I don't feel like picking those rides up, so I'ma spine here <laughs> and then I'ma spine back. That's a quick little trick. If you don't feel like picking up all your rides once you get like multiple ride stands, or either jump on your boat. If you got a boat, either one works. Or if you forgot like me, you want to fast forward. I'm going to fast forward to this next day. Uh, let me look at my weather forecast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. We're going to go in the middle. I probably can catch it at night. Uh, look at the marker to show the time. I haven't seen no one catch anything with crayfish. Okay. Let me check the time on this maca. Okay, it was morning. All right, we're going to fast forward the morning. Well, I'm going to go to seven. Let's extend. Let's go. What's up, Frog? What's going on? What's going on, man? Shout out to Frog Shroom for coming through. Let me set back up. Yeah, I tried that crate just because uh, I still have my jig on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I enjoy it, man. I enjoy it. Absolutely. But yeah, man, I, I enjoy it too. Uh, like I said, this morning, man, fishing. I uh, I, I have a, it's like a minnow lure. It's a pretty common one with the little broken, you know, sort of wiggle. Uh, the jointed, that's what it's called. One of the jointed minnows. I was trying that, trying to find a, a good spot. And then I ended up um, using an inline spinner. 
And the inline did pretty well. Like I said, I snagged me a bag. My nephew was uh, running a spinner bait. He was fishing with spinner bait. That spinner bait was kicking. It was it was doing good business. So he caught him a nice size one with that spinner bait. A little spinner bait with a white color, cream color. Yeah, that thing was doing good business. Uh, let's see. We're going to change this here. Mm. See a four eye, 12 foot. We'll try this 12 foot crank. See if we can get us some pike or some Xander. I think those pike could probably be closer to that shrubbery. I might not be able to throw it out far enough to get to the pike. But we shall see. We'll crank a man slow. Crank a man slow. Let's see. We'll say he caught a couple more uni whales. Uh, I think the... A little was in the evening peak. Okay. Well, I skipped past the evening peak, and I'm not going to be able to go forward again anytime soon due to the uh, the cool down, but we're going to work it out. We're going to work it out. So what lakes are y'all fishing, man? If you are fishing, if you're on fishing planet, well, what lake are you fishing? Where you at? What fish are you targeting? All right, let's see. Wolf sent a marker. Okay, caught that uni northern. Yeah, that's a decent size. Uh, okay, he caught that with, with minnows. You know what? I could put my uh my float out. I had some leeches on the float as well. This one don't really have much current. I didn't know you could cast on the other side. Yeah, that's interesting. I did not know you could cast on the other side of the um of those floats, those buoys. Uh oh, that's too heavy. That's too heavy. Let me go to a smaller spoon. Try the St. Patty's Day spoon. Oh, we got some more markers, guys. We got some more markers. Let's see. Had that beluga on shiners, the beluga on the large minnows. Oh, you snagging in those belugas, man. Said they're all on the other side of the little orange float buoys. So it look like they BSing a bit, man. They ain't really getting any bites right now. I'm going to go back and try this other spot since uh, nothing's really biting. Yeah, we'll go back and try that. Uh, let's see. In case you are still trying to get the Monster Beluga, the spot where you caught the Uni Pike is also where you caught all the pikes. Okay. Yeah, I am going to need that because I haven't. That's one that I think I got to do. Oh, so I got a hit. Got a hit. There we go. This is a perch. <laughs> a little perch. Yeah, I do need to finish. Let's see what monster I got left. Yep, October. 
Okay, catch a. Um, I got to catch a greater 20 pounds. October Weeping and Maku. This Maku, I don't know when I'm going to do this. This was the worst trying to catch these uh, Biata and Payata. That was horrible. This one, I just need one unique mirror carp, and I'm done. I, I can knock that one out. I just never finished it. And then this October one. Let's see, just 20 pound pike. I mean, hey, we might as well. Why are we sitting here? Why are we sitting here? Let's go for it. I'm going to throw my float at this one. Let's see, find us some large minnows. Might as well uh, kill two birds with one stone, right? Damn. Now, this might be too deep, though. I didn't check my uh, line limb. Might be a little deeper than I needed to be. Yeah, Wolf, they are not biting right now. They are not biting here. All right. Uh, for bigger pikes, use hook seven eye or more. Okay. I think I got a six on this one. The other ones, they all have, I think two of them got 10. One of them got seven or seven, or it's a six, excuse me. One of them has six, six, eight, and 10. Uh, nice. Wolf caught a 38 pounder. Hey, what time are you on? I mean, like, where are you at on the day? Nice one, Wolf. That's a big one. Another pound or so, you'd have had a uni. So everything's sitting right there. The pike, the whales. Okay, it's 6 a.m. So he's at early morning right now. My peak wasn't that, um, my fish bite chart wasn't good that early. That's why I went a little bit forward. I went to seven. <laughs> now you can cast outside the boundaries similar to uh, the Congo going after those now perch. You know, the boundaries stop you, but you can cast beyond the boundary. Which is kind of, I want to say it's unrealistic, but you would think not. If they got a barrier there, you would think you wouldn't be able to fish into the barrier, but such is not the case. All right, catfish, y'all playing. Oh, they teasing. Come on, man. Stop playing. Let me get my bite. <laughs> nice. Wolf pulling in another one. That's a pike. 16 pound. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, they're not so much biting for me, Wolf. Hey, Gabriel, thank you for the follow. 
You are elite. Much appreciated. Hey, hello, Gabriel. How are you? How are you? Hey, all is well. All is well. I cannot complain. I cannot complain. How about you? Ah, the train. They hit us. Hoo hoo. <laughs> um, I'm on the edge of getting to the peak. Yeah, I'm a little outside of it. We going into it. It's a midday peak, though. It's a midday peak. I'm getting nibbles. Just waiting on that big one to hit. I'm getting some nibbles. Uh, say this mastering is crazy. Yeah, man, it is. It is. Let's see that they going for it. Go on and get it. Stop playing with it. Gabri. I thought I saw the Gabriel. That's Gabri. What's up, Gabri? Ah, they playing. Let me change this spoon. See what else we can get here. I'm going to throw the, uh, the medium spoon out. Since we got Pike and Xander, they should bite on one of those. Where that red spoon? Ah, it's too heavy. Uh, make sure to be like an hour or two outside the peak time or be on peak time. Okay. Uh, but Lewis here, medium, crankbait, jerkbait, walkers, poppers, yeah. Yeah, I might try the major popper as well. I got that Cayman swim bait. Man, Wolf over there knocking them out the pot. See, this one too light. I see you, Wolf. That's my barbless medium spoon. There we go. Brock, what up, what up? What's going on, Brock? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. How you been, man? What's been up with you? Uh, Gabriel, did you try Hooks 8 out for cats? I have a 10 out on right now. Well, I got I think I got an eight on one. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. You got leeches on the ten. Yeah, I got a six, eight, and ten right now with these three that I'm running. That other one sitting there is a spin. No, it's a float. My bad. It's a float. Yeah, I'm good, man. I am good. I cannot complain. I cannot complain. Been doing well. Trying to make a few things happen, you know. Nothing is happening for me. When you get no bites like this, 
a lot of times I feel like it's the game. A lot of times if you quit out of the game or even um either quit, you know, or even close the app and come back in, you know, you get a lot of and even fast forward. And sometimes just fast forwarding the time helps. But for the most part, if I leave the game and come back, I get some activity. Uh, Gabriel say, bite right here is really bad. Uh, wish you good luck with that mastering. Hey, I am almost done. I got the other two in the stream, and that's why I've really been trying to tackle one fish at a time in the stream. If it's quick, then I'll go do more than one. But, yeah, we got the other ones on stream, so I'm trying to get the last one. But, yes, it is taking a while. Like, come on. What's really going on? See, they keep nibbling. I'm trying to be patient, man, because I feel like when it bites, it's going to be the one we need. So I'm trying to be patient. But they testing my patience. They are testing my patience. Let's see if I got a light popper. See if I got a light popper that we can use. Uh, the five watt. I'm gonna have to use a regular. Eye. I mean, a, a regular popper. I wanted to use that major popper, but we gonna have to use a Reggie. We'll catch it right over here. Hey, what's up, balling? What's good? Straight. If I can get this thing in the auto pop. Yeah, what's up, straight? What's going on? Brock say what rank? I am a 71, almost 72. I'm thinking about going back to the Congo so I can get my level up to 75 real quick. You know, it won't take that long. Uh, let's see, it took you, you think. Real life hour or two to get the trophy catfish with a leech. Uh, you think it was around 40, 50. Yeah, man. It does seem to be taking a long time. But, yeah, I got to get this thing up to 75. You know, this grind going to be long. How you get, the slower it gets, the longer it takes. Straight, you say, what lake is this? This is October. Yeah, this is October. It's a uh, European waterway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see. I'm trying to catch. Hold on. Chilling at Emerald Lake straight. You new to the game. Found myself a few days ago. How's life treat? Uh, life is good, man. Life is good. Look, staying busy. Life has been busy. But, um, yeah, I'm good, man. I am good. Family's good. I cannot complain. I cannot complain. And it's been a good stream, man. Everybody come through and helping out like we do. Um, You say Emerald Lake. Emerald Lake is a good farm, man. That's a good early farm that'll really get you going with those walleye, man. No, I'm supposed to be popping. Brock, I am trying to catch uh, catfish. This trophy catfish on leeches. It's taking forever, though, man. I caught them real quick with large cut bait. I caught a uni. But trying to catch it with these leeches, man, takes a while. Hey, yeah, cheers, frog. That's what's up. Let's see, you're going to put leeches on all rides to help out. Hey, appreciate that, Wolf. Man, I think I'm going to move. I'm going to go back to that other spot, Wolf. I'm going to come back. I'm going to try to peer again. I'm going to just bounce back and forth because for whatever reason, they are not biting right here like they should be. So I'm going to go back to the dock. 
the dock is another spot. Hey, yeah, man. Hey, and I look, I'm glad that uh the videos and everything, man, uh, have been helping. Uh, for real. Like I said, I still, you know, be trying to create more content and uh make videos, you know, that'll help folks at a lot of these different lakes. Yeah, frog, on that good, that goodness, that goodness. Yeah, man, we've been at this spot. I started here at the dock, and then Wolf showed me that spot right there by the bridge, which is a really good spot. He sent me some markers and some big boys, but um, they are just not biting like that right now. I was hoping we'd get this thing out of the way, but it's like they playing, so it is what it is. Yeah, Brock. How's the how's the weather on your part of the world, man? All right, something hit, something hit. There we go. At least something hitting. Goodness. All right, it's not a trophy, but it's sent. This on the ten eye too. Okay, 13. We getting there. We getting there. That 13 will work. They a little more active on my uh on my game, my spawn over this way. Uh what's up? Hey. <laughs> what's up, Block? Uh, say best regards from Hamburg, Germany. Hey, how am I? I'm doing well. I'm doing well, man. Like I say, been a busy day, been a good day. Um, but I'm doing well. How about you? How you doing? How you doing? Tim, say your inventory still full. You may be a hoarder and fishing planet. Hey, I know the feeling, man. I know I am. I be hoarding all the lure, all the bait. It be taking everything in me, even stuff that that I can buy. Like I gotta go back and check it to make sure that it's in the shop so I can buy it. Before I can actually sell it or delete it, you know, if you got to dis, uh, discard it. But, yeah, man, it's hard to let go. It's hard to let go. Because you never know when you're going to use that lure. And what gets you are holiday promos. Because those holiday promos always give you, like, free lure. But they need special lure that's specific to the holiday. Sometimes they can be used, you know, at different times. But, um, or for you know, some of them actually work pretty well even outside the holiday. But man, it fills up your inventory like quick, fast. Uh, say it's been okay, rain a couple days straight. Yeah, we actually have been getting some rain here as well. Let's see, no block. Yeah, man, high things in Germany. I gotta learn what was that? I used to know some greetings. I don't know my greetings now. All I know is cuss words in Germany, unfortunately, and plots. But we only use that with the dog. Ah, what were some of my greetings? Uh, let's see. Wolf say you saw a tornado hit over Kansas. Dang. Oh, and over Kansas. Yeah, that's rough. I hope everybody is well. There's a tornado. Fish are not cooperating. Oh, what's that? Hey, frog. Nice, nice. Like I said, I caught a either trophy or yoni right here. Beluga. 
Yeah, I caught a 32 pound trophy right here. They don't want to do nothing right now. Hey, straight say you out here near Seattle, finally looking like we're getting some clear sunny days after tons of rain. Also, why people living in Kansas, if the sky dropped down and and move my house, I'd be out. <laughs> Wolf say you gonna rejoin because you lagging again. Okay, all right, Wolf. Well, you know, we, either way, whichever you gonna do, man. I understand. Uh, say if the sky dropped down and moved your house, hey, that's that's rough. I mean, it don't happen all the time, so you know, I know that's why people live out there. But yeah, that's rough, man. Them tornadoes, whoo, that is rough. So you're in Seattle. I was just talking about being in the Bay. Um, I was in the Bay. Uh, one of my guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Frog. We we were talking about the Bay. Um, but say straight, you in Seattle. I spent some time in. It wasn't Seattle though. It was uh Red Redwood. Ain't that Redwood? Redmond? Redwood? Wherever Microsoft is located. So in the same year that. I was telling Frog that I went out to Cali because I was at Berkeley. They sent me to this. Uh, I was in a in a program. Um, I was still finishing on my undergrad, and they sent me out there and paid for me to stay out there for two months. The same year, Microsoft paid for me to go out to Redmond, and they had this program about like brought together all these minds, these thinkers, or whatever, whatever. And we stayed for a weekend. Um, they put me up in a hotel and. I went around and toured up the facility, and then we did all this cool stuff together. They actually made a Pez. This was back, this was like I said, like 2012 or something like that. So they were still using the Xbox, the first generation. They made the second generation of the Connect. That Connect is so powerful, it can read like body temperatures and all of that. So they actually took scans of all of us with the Connect, show us the power, and they made a Pez dispenser an accurate model of our head using uh, one of the earlier 3D printers. They showed us one of the first 3D printers back then. Well, it probably wasn't the first, you know what I mean, but uh, Microsoft, they had a 3D printer back then, back before they were commonplace. And yeah, they made a, uh, they made a 3D model of my head. And I never got mine, man. Everybody else got this because they, they had to make it and mail it to us because we were only there a weekend. But I never got my uh my little 3D model of my pants dispenser on my head. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, Brock say you've been playing uh Fishing Planet. I passed you on levels now. You need to step your game up. Ty, yeah, on whatever the last account you started playing, Brock got about ten accounts. He done maxed out in prestige. I'm still trying to get the first one to eighty. You know, I need to go grind some sharks or something. Okay, Redman. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Redman. Oh, uh, let's see. What do I do? <laughs> what I do now is just some like tech stuff. Uh social media tech. Um video editing. I've always been like graphic designer and stuff like that. So I've always done that, but I always been like a techie nerd type of guy too. So um, I do a little bit of all of that at my job. But then I was in school, and because I had, like, a really high grade point average, they uh they would send me to, like, all these programs and, and speaking and doing all this stuff. I don't really be doing it now. It's That's history. I don't bring it up much. But um they sent me to Berkeley and to the Ohio State for two summers back-to-back -back for, like, two months to uh to, you know, Right stuff. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Microsoft has too much money. Hey, <laughs> said it right here, my dome. <laughs> right. Hey, Microsoft got ooh, plenty money. Plenty money. Um, I actually went here in Char in uh Charlotte as well. Um, uh, to the Microsoft, they got a Microsoft plant in Charlotte, but uh, going to Redmond was really cool, man. It was a real cool experience. Real cool experience. And like I say, just being even able to go in the Microsoft plant. I mean, I, I guess regular people can go tour it, you know, but to actually being able to go behind the scenes and meet people, it was real cool. <laughs> Zuki. 
Hey, what in the world? Oh, the color just changed. Okay, it's 9 a.m. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, Zuki. I got pictures, though. I got pictures. <laughs> uh, so that's awesome. You just graduated from college in cybersecurity network. I mean, hard to find work, though, because your resume gap. Ah, uh, yeah. it's That's that thing, man. They want you to uh, have experience, but, to, but you got to get experience. If to get experience, you got to have experience. It's like that catch-22 they put you in. They basically just want some free labor out you. You're going to have to work somewhere and basically volunteer for a little while. You know what I mean? Do an intern, work study type of thing. Then once you get your foot in your door, you, you're going to be off to the races. Oh, there we go. We got a hit. Got a hit. Nice. But, yeah, that's straight, straight A. You in a good field, man. I actually was looking into cybersecurity and, and all of that, too, um, even back then because – uh, that's what some of my people who I know, I actually got a, a, a OG of mine. He is a, well, he just retired, but he's a big wig at Microsoft as well. We actually met afterwards because he was asking me like, man, why you ain't working at Microsoft? I've just heard about all the stuff you did. You know, he was working there, but me and him had never met. We met somewhere else and uh, we got real cool, man. He's like an uncle, like an OG, but he was like, man, I heard about you at Microsoft. You coming to the programs and stuff. Why you ain't got no job? <laughs> like, what are you doing? You know, he used to get on me. But um, but anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, he was telling, you know, we used to talk about like some career paths, man. That cybersecurity is definitely uh where it's at. Because it's everybody is on computers, devices, mobile, you know, the whole nine. Oh, I caught an asp over here. Nice. Hey, thanks, Wolf. Yeah, I pumped it up a little bit. Uh let me go on and mark that. But because that's what everything is, being in that in that realm, man, is is definitely good for the future. Uh, let's see. Man, you got me in the No Man's Sky and Terraforming Planets. Hey, nice, Tim. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, I enjoyed No Man's Sky. I didn't play all the way through it where I went all, all over the place, but I enjoyed it. I'm definitely enjoying that Planet Crafter I'm playing right now. Zuki, you can't delete the images. I got them backed up, man. I got them backed up. Yeah, hey, No Man's Sky, you should be able to get it pretty cheap. And the developers, you know, they messed up at first, you know, with those little claims or whatever. But they fixed it, man. I got to get them credit. I wanted to do some type of video on that, them kind of redeeming themselves. And even a few other developers that I've seen, even with indie games, that kind of redeemed themselves or had issues and made it through it. Hey. Uh, Shroom say you just got in the Elden Ring. Yeah, man. I want to play Elden Ring. My boy kept telling me, man, play Elden Ring on the channel. Um, but I, I hadn't done so. But yeah, that Elden Ring looks like woo. Like it's that thing. Uh Brock say, have I done the monster fish at the Amazon? Yes, I did it. I did it. Um, it's on one of the streams, man. But yeah, I did do the monster fish at the Amazon. If you do the little trick where you just barely throw it out on the boat, you can reel them in quick. Uh, you didn't think you like it, but it's addicting. Yeah, man. All I've heard is good things about that Elden Ring. Uh, Straight say, you're trying to catch some internships. Uh, luckily, your city has a paid internship just for veterans, so you thinking you'll get lucky soon. Nice. Yeah, you should, man. You should. But where you're at, you'll find one. There's some people that want you, man, for real. Uh, what's up, Zombie? Uh, say, got any tips for low level, uh, level 18? Hey, guys, what's some tips for level 18, man? Trying to grind, trying to get that level up. Uh, let's see. Name off some of my favorite games. Woo. Uh, Fish and Planet, of course. I'm really into Planet Crafter right now. That's a good one. I mean, GTA. I play some 2K. I, I still play some 2K. I, I've been playing that since, like, the first one, so I'm still a little addicted. Um, What else do I like? What else do I like? Uh, I can't see my – hold on, hold on. I'm here, guys. I'm here. Hold up. I'm trying to check on some of my other joints. Uh, let's see. Emerald till you can hit white moose. Okay, Frog said hit emerald till you can hit white moose. Um, Because you can keep grinding at emerald, and you'll really, really get your level up. I was at emerald for a long time. Like I was at emerald probably like level 40. I did bounce and try a couple other lakes, 
But because when you first go there, because you don't know them or you don't know what equipment you need, it usually didn't go well. So I would always end up coming back to Emerald Lake and grinding, saving up and everything. But if you tie to Emerald Lake, I would say I like Rocky. I like Falcon. Falcon's a good lake. Falcon has a little more variety. So I, I do enjoy Falcon. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think whatever else as well. Um, Imperion, that was another game. I played Imperion a lot on my channel. Uh, really enjoyed Imperion. That's a good one if you're on PC. Oh, what's else? It's a little low key. If you like a traditional style, it ain't tra it ain't super traditional, but traditional style RPGs. It's this one I played called Graveyard Keeper. Man, that game had me hooked. I did not think it was gonna be as entertaining as it was. But yeah, that game is like serious. Um, hold on, I'm gonna give you a few more. Yeah, a few more. See, MMO part RPGs, Guild Wars. Okay, yeah, Guild Wars Two still going strong. Uh, what's that other one? Uh, um, Elder Scrolls, but the Elder Scrolls MMO that one's real good too. Uh, my boy Joey, shout out to Drive by Joe. He used to be on that hard. Tim Max said Elden Ring ate him alive. Hundred and five hours on Xbox. Woo, yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, let's see what you can play right now. Is it hard? Yeah, they say that Elden Ring is extremely hard. Like, it is unforgiving. But it is so enjoyable. If you want a game that's going to really challenge you, that game is it. Uh, Eric said you saw Fish at Emerald Lake for Walleye Good Money. Yep. Yep. Uh, Emerald Lake Walleye have been working me for real. <laughs> uh, I think it's time to move on once you get to the 20s. Yeah. What I would say, once you're ready to move on from Emerald Lake, the thing you got to kind of be aware of is, is your gear. If you done uh, saved up and bought decent gear, upgraded your gear, or if you got some DLC that came with some good gear, you'll be all right because um, that's what happened to me. I tried to go to other lakes, and I ain't have my gear ready, and so all I could do was catch bass or something like that. But whatever the money fish was, I couldn't really catch it. Uh, Metal Fire saying, Imperion keeps crashing your computer these days. Oh, wow. Has it been because of the updates? Has it been stuff they've done to it and like the game ain't optimized as well anymore? Because I haven't played Imperion in a, in a while. Uh, Emerald is good. Don't go nowhere else till you have better gear because it will break your gear. Yeah, that's what I ran into. Uh, nice for XP and cash. Uh, let's see. You've been on Final Fantasy. Let me get my Roman numbers right. Final Fantasy 14 since 2013. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> I see you, Brock. Uh, let's see. You got 20K -ish saved up right now. Uh, if you can link it to some gear, uh, you should look for. I mean, I I like, I always upgrade to a bait caster first, and then I went to like White Moose when I got my first bait caster, that yellow joint that was about 20 pounds. But it's more so your the pounders you can handle. Because those heavier fish are going to really, really, like I say, wreck your gear. If you can get feeder, a decent feeder, a decent match, I started, I kind of go, I progress like I would get the uh, bait caster slash spin first, upgrade that. Then I would go to feeder because the bell, you know, you can listen to it. So you can set it and forget it like we're doing on the stand. And then I would do float last, even though float works really well. Like I'm not going to lie, float works works well. But um, the feeder, I don't know. I like feeder just because, again, you can kind of set it and forget it and just listen out for the bell. Uh, Meta said, you'll be waiting to play Imperion when a new major update comes out. Okay. Uh, Wolf said, have I uploaded the instrumental? I think I did, Wolf. Let me make sure. Let me make sure if I haven't, I got to get the instrumental love, Wolf. Wolf is talking about show love shout outs. That's the song on the, uh, the I Run The Game album that I put out. And um, I got the beat. I got to put the beat up, man. I made that one too. I had some other people help me produce on that album, but I made that show love shout outs instrumental, man. 
put it like this. If I put it up, where can you get it? Like, you want me to put, just put it up on, like, uh, iTunes? Make, like, a beat CD? Because I might just need to do that. Just put up the instrumentals or just put up on, like, SoundCloud or somewhere. Like, where are you trying to access it? Uh, let's see. What should you be saving bait coins for? I save my bait coins. For, I mainly use them for um, licenses, although the higher levels cost a lot. But also look out for um, barbless lure. Barbless lure, like the barbless jig head or the barbless spinner or um, barbless hooks. Go on and get you some, you know, maybe a, just one pack of like a four-aught hook or a six-aught uh, depending on how big you're going, because you get bonus XP and bonus uh, money for barbless. I know it's at least bonus XP. Is it bonus? Is it a uh, bonus money too, guys? I'm trying to remember. But yeah, barbless, and then you're gonna need it for markers. I don't know if you got into markers yet. I wasn't really doing the marker thing till way later, so I got a much higher level. Um, oh, I'm at Spotify. I don't know if I said iTunes. Maybe I, I can't remember if I said Spotify or not. But um, yeah. Let's see what else? Bait coins, markers. You're probably gonna have to expand your tackle box every now and then. So yeah, expand the tackle box. Okay. But yeah, barbless. If you have had to go back to like Lone Star, go on and get you on a Lone Star. I saved up two fifty, and the first thing I ended up buying was um. The un oh 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 okay there we go, the unlimited license at um yeah, this thing trying to fight a little bit at White Moose because White Moose was my favorite lake for a minute man I loved fishing at White Moose catching those unis those forty pound unis. Oh come on come on. Shay, what's up? So you caught a 326 at a FIMA. Whoo, that's a big boy. That's a little baby monster. Hey, I posted a video in the uh in the Discord. It was some guys catching, they were catching Nile perch for real. And then they caught this huge, these two huge atapimas. They was in like uh South America. And they were just fishing, like standing in the water. It was three guys with a little boat. They was putting the Nile perch in the boat. It was like a canoe. And they was net fishing. And they were just throwing them in the boat by themselves. The Nile perch weren't as big as they were on the game. I thought the big fish that they caught by the title of the video was going to be a Nile perch because they was catching these, like, little now. They weren't little. Like, they was, like, 10, 15-pound Nile perches from what it looked like. But then they caught this huge, it said, like, 100 and something kilogram. It might have been the two of them together. I don't know. Ah, oh, doggone it. I will start getting a real hit when I got that one on the line. Let me see if I can get this one in. Let's see if we can get them both. Come on in. Come on in. Ah, that one ain't big enough. Ten. Okay. All right. I think this might be another Asp or a Xander. But he might be a trophy the way he acting. This only an 11-pound setup I'm fishing with right now. But um, he might be something the way he the way he fighting. Let's see, how long did it take me to do the electric eel? Um, it took a while. It took a while. Yeah, that eel one. Now you talking about the one, the later one, the Amazon one? The cyber one, or are you talking about just the ill one that's just like at Gent Turner's L or whatever? That one, well, that one was slow. It took forever, too. You talking about Gent, just catching the five takes forever. Take like two, three hours. If you got more rides, it'll be a little quicker. Then catching the main one just take forever. It's just like a test of your patience. But if you're talking about the cyber one, yeah, that take a while, too. That take a while, too. Um. Yeah, that took a while. Just because you got to catch so many. But it was kind of fun, though. It wasn't that bad catching the cyber joints. 
Uh, Frog say his best quick level of advice for anyone that's willing to spend money, get the Congo and grind all your days there. Uh, you slacked off because you got Elden Ring. Yeah, I did the same thing, man. If you do have the money for the DLC or say you just trying to decide, should I get a DLC? Um, You would need to, if you get that Congo, man, you'll make so much money in XP. Like you can go up 30, 40 levels and stack up like 10 million. And then you'll never have to worry about money or leveling. You might not make it all the way to the Congo, but you should make it to the Amazon or close. Uh, Wolf say the cyber one, he had no trouble with uh, all because they need to be at 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cyber one actually wasn't that bad. It was only one lake where it took a little while. All right, caught that trophy right there. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Spotify. All right, I got you, Wolf. Okay, the one at the Amazon. Yeah. You actually got to go to three different lakes to catch the preliminary fish, and then you catch the, the big one at the end. But it it, it, it take a while because you got to catch like a 100 or so of them little cyber joints, but they aren't that hard. They aren't that hard. Uh, Let's see. What level should I be looking at? White moose. Again, if you got a bait caster that can handle about 20, 30, because you're going to catch – some 40 pound uniques and they are gonna wear your ride down. But you should be good. Um long as you get a 20 pound bait caster, then you can just cast, uh, you can just cast this when I show you. 20 or up. Again, you're gonna fight a bit, but it'll be fun. You can cast this red tiger. If you get this medium spoon right here, I think it'll be first like a two eye or a three eye. You'll catch crazy trout. And then my guy Eric, uh, Eric was also telling me you can use a the narrow spoon, the same one that you use at Emerald Lake. But this right here, White Moose, this all you need. If this, if all you have is a bait caster, and it can handle at least like twenty or so, up to 30, 40 would be great. But all you need is this medium spoon right here, and you'll catch them trout all day. You'll catch unis. Uh, let's see, you'll be back in a minute. You're going to watch uh, YouTube vid. <laughs> All, right. All right, Brock. Hey, Brock. Hey, actually, man, I'm finna have to uh, shut it down. I'm looking at the time, man. My time is wrong now. It went a little longer than I thought. Cause I hope to already have caught this, this catfish. But I'm going to either have to catch them off stream or we'll come back on the stream and i try to do it again with you guys. But, yeah, man, I'm finna have to hop out of here. Got to do some stuff. I'm going to have to go get my son in a little bit. And, uh, yes, the time is drawing now, man. But I'm glad that I was able to get on here and stream with you guys, man. And uh, this has been fun, man. Appreciate the support. Appreciate everybody that came through. Shout out to Frog. Shout out to Wolf. You know how we do, man. Wolf always come through and show love. Y'all check out Wolf as well, man. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I got to wrap it up, guys. But I'll be back in the next one. I might jump on again like this in the afternoon after work or something uh, one of these days. Probably not tomorrow because I go in and I do some video work tomorrow and I got to prepare for a stream and edit. But if not tomorrow, later, maybe the next day, man. But y'all look out for that notification. Hit that like on your way out. Y'all know how we do. If you're watching this later, thank you as well. Like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. We'll be back in the next one. Prayers up. Peace and blessings for you, your family, your loved ones. Again, thank you to everybody. Thank you to everybody. Okay, i do that, Frog. I do that. I do that. You come through a fish, man. For real, for real. All right, guys. And Eric, hey, just caught a 41-pound strike bass. Congrats. Congrats. Nice catch. Nice catch. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Trent. It was cool to catch on live stream, man. Glad y'all made it through. Glad y'all made it through. All right, Eric. Hey, I'm about to get out of here, man, but I will check you later on, man. Nice catch on that one, man. That's a good one right there. So, yes, I will talk with y'all on the later on, guys. I'm get up out of here. Charles Macro, I'm going to holler at y'all. Salute to the Elite fan, man. Thank y'all, and I will get with you later.